This is a DST11 temperature and humidity sensor. If I connect it with an Arduino Uno and an LED screen, it will display the temperature and humidity. If I also connect a buzzer to it, then the buzzer will activate if the temperature exceeds a certain limit. Let's see how you can make this. So let's get started. Obviously we need some components to make this. And this is our main sensor, the DST11, which can measure temperature and humidity. We also have a 16 to 2 LCD display with an I2C module. And for the connections, we will need a breadboard and some jumper wires. Now this is our circuit diagram. According to this, I will connect all the components. After you completed the connection, connect your Arduino Uno to your PC. Now we will upload the code to the Arduino Uno. So this is the link for the code and diagram. You will find this link in this video description. Once you have downloaded the code, Open it using Arduino ID. Ensure that you have the Arduino ID installed to open this code. And here is our code. To upload this code, you need to install Liquid Gestor library. To install it, go to Sketch, click on Include library, navigate to Minus libraries, and type Liquid Gestor in the search bar. Install the Liquid Crystal library. And next, go to Tools and select the board as Arduino Uno. Then choose a serial port of the Arduino Uno. And finally, upload this code. Now I am using a custom PCB to connect all the components. But you don't have to make a custom PCB, you can normally use a breadboard because I am using this just to make it look clean. You can see the difference, it's not a problem if you use breadboard. Let's test this to see if it's actually displaying the temperature and humidity or not. Alright, you can see that it's actually displaying the temperature and humidity. Now I'm placing a soldering iron near the DST11 sensor to test if the temperature increases or not. And here you can see the temperature is increasing. And again I'm placing a cold ice cream near the sensor. Let's see if the temperature drops or not. Okay, so is displaying temperature and humidity the only thing we can do with this setup? Actually we can do many more things with it. For instance, I am adding a buzzer to it now. What will the buzzer do? Well, when the temperature reaches a certain limit, in my case the limit is 35 degrees Celsius, the Arduino activates the buzzer. It will remain activated until the temperature falls below 35 degrees Celsius. I will provide the circuit diagram and the code for the buzzer in the video description. You can also add this type of fan to it. It works like this, when the temperature rises, the fan speed increases 
and when the temperature decreases the fan speed decreases as well now i'm not adding this fan to it but if you like me to include that you can comment below all right it's the end of this video and i must say you guys have been amazingly supportive and i am very close to reaching 1k subscribers just hit the subscribe button do it once we hit 1k subscribers i will upload a special video just for you all so if you enjoy this video please share it with your friends i will see you in the next video